Hello everyone, and welcome back to ZQ1 Plays. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. Today I'm going to give you just a few quick takes on the upcoming Cinderace Raid event that is going to be going live later today. And so here are some Pokemon that I want to recommend to you that would be amazing to use against Cinderace, and they're all right here in my party as we're uh, getting ready to go through each one, one by one. So I hope you guys will enjoy this and uh, utilize this. One key mention before we get started here is... Azumarill. Azumarill is is still probably going to be pretty good. The only uh, catch would be if Cinderace is going to be using Gunk Shot, that could throw a wrench in Azumarill's plan. But Azumarill is still going to be a good option in general because Belly Drum plus Play Rough is going to hit this uh, Cinderace very hard because it is a Terra fighting type. And so, alrighty, let's get into it one by one, walking through uh, some Pokemon that I want to recommend that you consider using. For the Cinderace Terra Raid event. Here is the first one, and of course it is uh, Dragapult. Well, Dragapult is not typically a tanky Pokemon. Um, it does have some very key resistances to Cinderace and the options that he's going to be throwing your way. So, uh, for instance, Dragapult is immune to ghost type. Well, it's, it's a ghost, so it's immune to fighting type moves. It's also resistant to fire type moves. So it could be hit super effectively by some of other uh, Cinderace's stuff, but, but we're not expecting too much from those other uh, coverage options. So, again, fighting, fire resist is amazing. As you can see, too, the set that I'm running here on Dragapult includes Will-O-Wisp, includes Reflect, which is going to make you even more tanky, and then Psychic Fangs, which is going to hit the Cinderace pretty hard, Dragon Dance, if you get time to. This is going to be a great option, and I hope you guys will look at, at uh, using it. It is a more offensive option, but it still is supportive with the Reflect in there. So, uh, yeah, give it a look. Next up we have Slowbro, and uh, Slowbro is taking an amazing nap right now. Uh, Slowbro is obviously very defensive, and he has been for a long time. But he's got the Water Psychic typing, which is going to, again, resist fire and resist fighting. As far as a set goes for Slowbro, once again, um, it is slightly supportive, but also very offensive because Slowbro has a pretty high special attack stat, so it's going to be able to hit Cinderace very hard. So what we're going to do first is Nasty Plot, and then we're going to Chilling Water, which Chilling Water is just going to begin lowering the Cinderace's attack stat. And uh, I probably would Chilling Water at least two times and then start firing off Psychics. Whenever he resets your stat boosts, Use Nasty Plot one more time, and then continue Psychic. Uh, continue using Psychic to the end of the raid. I think Slowbro is going to be a really easy option. Uh, he's probably not going to faint to hardly anything that the Cinderace wants to uh, to throw out. So waking up there, nice to see you, buddy. We have Veluza. Veluza is one of the newer Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I really, really have enjoyed using Veluza um, just a little bit online. Veluza is so cool. It is a water psychic type, just like Slowbro, so it does have the double resistance, but it is not near as tanky. However, it does have a very respectable HP stat. So we did go uh, full investment in attack and HP, and with that psychic stab, Veluza is going to be hitting Cinderace very hard. So what we want to do is focus energy, and then focus energy plus the scope lens is going to allow psychic fangs to critical hit almost every single time. Outside of those two moves, we have just a couple of uh, assisting, you know, kind of support moves like Rain Dance. If you have a couple of fire types, um, I mean, sorry, if you have a couple of Pokemon that are getting hit too hard by the fire type moves, you can use Rain Dance to protect them. And then, of course, Psychic Terrain is just going to make your Psychic Fangs hit even harder. So if you don't have to worry about taking too much fire damage on your team, a typical game would go uh, turn one Focus Energy, turn two Psychic Terrain, and then Psychic Fangs to the end of time. And uh, you're going to be hitting very hard with Veluza, although you're not quite as bulky, it is still going to be worth it. Next up we have Armor Rogue. Armor Rogue is probably the quintessential Pokemon here. Uh, this very well could be the best Pokemon to bring. Armor Rogue has access to Reflect, has access to um, the Flash Fire, Flash Fire ability, which is going to make it where it does not take any damage from Fire type moves, um, and it resists Fighting type moves. And so once again, with Armor Rogue, um, just a very, very strong Pokemon here. And it's also pretty bulky, and so you're going to have the ability to take quite a bit of damage as well. I'm going to start with Reflect, and then once we use Reflect, we'll probably use a couple of Acid Sprays to make sure that that special defense gets dropped, then start firing off 
psychics. Now, why are we packing clear smog? Well, that's because if near the end of the game, um, Cinderace starts using bulk up a lot or starts using things that are making him much more difficult to, to knock out, then you're going to want to use clear smog just to uh, decrease his stat boost and make sure that he is not climbing out beyond your reach. And so, yes, hope you guys enjoy it. Armor Oak, I believe, is probably the best one of all of these to use. Next, we have Sarah Ledge, and Sarah Ledge is just like Armor Oak in the fact that it is uh, immune to the fighting and it is immune to uh, fire. And so it is going to have two immunities instead of one, but the negative side is that it doesn't have a stab super effective move to hit back with. But we are gonna run the reflect move, we're gonna run Psycho Cut and Swords Dance, and so a typical game is gonna be reflect turn one, Swords Dance turns two, and then Psycho Cut, Psycho Cut, Psycho Cut, until you're able to uh, to knock out the Cinderace. And so Sarah Ledge 2, a very good option, especially because of those immunities. And the final option here being Espathra. I've heard a lot of people talking about Espathra, and I'll tell you right off the bat here, I'm not too much of a believer yet. I guess we'll have to see it in action. I know Espathra can hit hard. Everyone knows Espathra has that ability to lower their special defense while you're attacking. Very good ability. But um, I'm just I'm not sure that Espathra is going to be able to survive long enough to do what we need her to do in this raid. We're going to see tonight. Uh, but the way that I built Espathra was full defense and full special attack, which seems kind of strange, but Espathra has a decent HP stat, its defense is just severely lacking, so in order to optimize it for physical attacks, we needed to uh, pump as much as we could into that defense stat, so full defensive investment, full special attack investment. And then in, in terms of move set, um, we're going to be doing some really interesting stuff. We're going to start with Reflect, just like a lot of these other sets, so that our whole team is going to be boosted uh, in defense and resisting the Cinderace's attacks. And then we have Lumina Crash, which will be most of what we do after using Reflect. Now, if we have a squishy team, we might want to use a Feather Dance first. But Lumina Crash is just going to be lowering special defense and attacking it. Uh, it's going to be doing some really good damage as well. Now, why do we have Sword Power? Well, that's because in this raid, Espathra, I chose to use Opportunist ability. That means any time that the um, opposing Cinderace is going to bulk up, or any other setup move, you're gonna get those stat boosts as well. And so if he bulk ups twice, and uh, you have already used like say one of the defensive cheers, then you're gonna have six stat boosts that you're gonna be able to then use stored power and hit with a mega amount of power. Now, you will want to use stored power after you've used Lumina Crash, that way his special defense is lowered. But Espathra may very well be the hardest hitting Pokemon on this list. However, I'm just not sure if she's going to be able to survive long enough to do what we want her to do. Well, that's uh, that's about all that I have for you today. I just wanted to show off some of my favorite sets and what I'm looking forward to using tonight in the Cinderace um, raid event that's going to be going on. And hopefully I'll be back with some more information on that once it launches and we can see what kind of rewards we're going to be getting and how much fun we're going to be having. I hope to see a lot of these sets online tonight as I'm partying up to do some raids. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing all of you there. And so we'll see you tonight as we all raid Cinderace together. Peace out.